I don't know. I always had the image of poetry as kind of the sort of boring, pro like you know, boring and overcomplicated and pretentious. I don't think that's always the case. I do think it's sometimes the case, though. <laughs> oh, another ghost. Uh, I'm about to get the helmet, surely, right? Like, it's right there. Uh, please, can I, like, there we go. I don't know if I, you know, I, I don't, I don't hate the fact that you do so little damage with an axe against a ghost. Because if I saw a ghost and I hit it with an axe, I wouldn't really expect it to do that much. You should try reading Alistor by Shelley. I will. Oh, there's another poem I really like that I've just remembered exists. Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm so annoyed. It's the one that everybody knows. Um, it was recited in that Coen Brothers movie, but I liked it before that. Oh, God, I can't remember. You know, it's the one with that line, uh, look upon my works in despair. Oh, I, I actually need to, like, look it up. It's going to drive me insane. I'm getting out my phone. <laughs> I don't normally do this, but it's actually going to drive me slightly insane if I don't figure out what this is. Um, look upon my works and despair. Ozymandias, that's it. Ozymandias is a great poet. It's a great poem. I can't even remember who wrote it, but it's it's fantastic. Where am I going? Like, there's, there's two different doors I can go through now. None of them... None of them seem like the... Is that also by Shelley? <laughs> Wait, no. Because uh, there's two different versions of Ozymandias that were written as a competition. I know that. Um, one of them was by Shelley, and I think the one I like wasn't by Shelley. <laughs> I can't remember. Or may it might have been by Shelley. Um, there's uh, there's two different versions of the poem Ozymandias. Um, that these two poets who were friends with each other made a bet on, like... You know, they found this, like... They, they came up with this topic and they were like, whoever writes the best poem gets like £10 or whatever. And uh, they they each wrote and published a poem. And one has become unbelievably famous and the other one uh, hasn't. I'm not sure which is which. Uh, actually, let me check. <laughs> I have it open. Uh... Oh no, it might be Shelley. It's Percy Shelley. Yeah, it is. It's uh, Percy... Uh, Shelley, it's the other one that's uh, that's uh, that's not as famous. Shelley is the famous one. Smith is more unknown. Yeah, so I do like a Shelley poem. That's that's actually one of my favorite poems. I really like that poem. It's really great. Pog. <laughs> I think this will lead. I'm 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 up a level, so surely this will lead me to something. Although that looks like a skeleton champion, which I'm upset about. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh no. We stand Shelly in this house. <laughs> it's weird, because uh, Shelly was hugely famous at the time. Not so much anymore. Like, this, you know, Mary Shelly is much more famous now than, than Percy Shelly, right? Like, undoubtedly. Or it probably varies from region to region, but... Uh, like, Mary Shelley is obviously hugely famous for Frankenstein, um, but wasn't really at the time, and Percy Shelley was the opposite. And their their careers have very much gone in different directions after their deaths. I know that people, people very much discounted and disliked Frankenstein, even though, you know, it was hugely popular and famous, but uh, people kind of discounted it as a, like, a bit of fluff, basically, for a long time, and Byron hated it. You know, in that very, like, sexist way that you'd expect. <laughs> he was like, oh, it's, you know, a trifling thing written by a woman. How could it be good? <laughs> that kind of thing. I've never read Frankenstein, I should say. I I've been meaning to. I have, um, I have, like, you know, leather-bound copies somewhere, or, like, hardback copies of Dracula by, uh, you know, the original Dracula and, um, and Frankenstein, and I've never never read either one of them. I bought them and went, yeah, I'll read these. These are meant to be great. And then never did. And Jekyll and Hyde as well. You know, one of those, another one of those like foundational horror things. Byron was also a prick, so who cares? <laughs> he was a prick. Like, notoriously a prick. It's, uh, honestly, I, I couldn't name a Byron poem. I know he was a really, he was a really famous poet at the time as well. 
But uh, also, he his poetry has been long overshadowed by the fact that he was such a prick. I hate Dracula, it was so boring. That is always the risk, isn't it? Like, whenever I read, like, a classic novel, like, there is always the risk that it's, like, unendingly boring. <laughs> like, I felt that kind of about Dickens, although I didn't finish the Dickens book, so maybe I, I should. I keep meaning to, but I haven't yet. Um, the, um... Yeah, the, the Dickens one I read, where I only read, like, 15 pages or something, and I went, oh, God, he won't stop talking. <laughs> But sometimes, you know, it's just since sensibilities and tastes are different, so, you know, you end up not liking it. It seems really boring. It's actually the problem I had with Moby Dick, which is apparently kind of an infamous problem. Like, everybody kind of says this about Moby Dick when they read Moby Dick. But Moby Dick is the most overwritten book I have ever read in my life. Like, by a long way. Like, it is... It, it feels like the Dickens problem, where Dickens was... Uh, famously paid by the word for a lot of his novels. Um, where am I? I'm slightly lost. Oh, this isn't a thing. Oh, I can... Oh, here we go. What's up? Oh, I could have come either way, I think. Um, oh, are, are you like... Are you like the body of the Crusader or something like that? I'm not sure. But Moby Dick, I read Moby Dick and I read like 200 pages of Moby Dick. So like, you know... A, a small novel's worth of pages of it. And they had not even gotten on the ship yet. <laughs> you know, it was so overwritten and so incredibly dull that I've heard, to be fair, that once they get on the ship, it opens up a lot and it's really good. But Moby Dick was unreadable for me. In fact, the only people... Because I've heard a few people say similar stuff and that they eventually did. I've recovered the Helm of the Crusader, the first piece of the relics. Uh, I should proceed to the Prior of the Nine. Fair enough. Um, ooh, a little jewellery box. I've heard people say that uh, no, Moby Dick gets really good, but that it takes until after they get on the ship, and also that it takes about three or four attempts to read Moby Dick. Like, everybody I've heard that's read it and liked it, which is a few people, have said that, oh yeah, I didn't read it until, you know, three or four, three or four attempts of reading it. I love Dickens. I've been reading his work since I was 12. I always mean to read Dickens because I like some of the adaptions. You know, A Christmas Carol is a classic. And A Christmas Carol is the exception because A Christmas Carol is like 80 pages. So I might read that. <laughs> um, maybe at Christmas I'll, I'll start reading Dickens because, you know, he kind of... I mean, he basically invented our, like, modern perceptions of, of Christmas. Um, so maybe that'll be a fun thing to do. Can I just jump over this ledge so I don't have to go down? I can... There was a, a thing down here, which I may as well check out. This I, I assume this leads out somewhere. The Netflix movie on Moby Dick is great. There's been a lot of Moby Dick movies that uh, are apparently really good. There's one that was filmed in my hometown. That will extremely narrow down where I live, I've just realized. But, like, uh, the, the most famous Moby Dick is uh, with Gregory Peck in it uh, from the 50s. I think it's like a John Ford movie. Um, and it was filmed, at least partially, in, in my town. And they are obsessed with it. Um, there is a statue of uh, Gregory Peck as Ahab in my town. Um, one of our most famous bears is called Moby Dix. Um, because, like, I, can't, I don't remember what its original name was, but, like, all of the cast and crew stayed there as, like, a, and drank there after filming every day. And so it became known as Moby Dix, and that's its official name now. I'm quite low on health, I've just realized. <laughs> Maybe I should just run around and heal for a second. But yeah, they're, um... They, um... They really like Moby Dick here. And I've never seen it. <laughs> I have it. I have it on, on DVD, I think, or Blu-ray. Um, but I've never actually watched it. I keep meaning to. It's one of those movies that, like... I don't know. I like Gregory Peck a lot, so I should watch it. Like, um... To Kill a Mockingbird is one of my favorite movies. I really like it. And one of my favorite books. I, I really like that book and movie. And he was great. So I should watch more of his stuff. Don't think I've ever seen a John Ford movie. Or is it John Huston? One of those. One of the famous, like, you know, curmudgeonly directors named John. Uh, please die. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's very nice of you. I don't know. I should just watch more movies in general. I haven't watched a movie in a little bit. Last movie I watched. What was the last movie I watched? I don't know. We've basically just been watching Golden Girls. I've mentioned that before, but um, 
I'm watching just like an, an obscene amount of Golden Girls. We're nearly finished Golden Girls now. We, uh, it's a seven series show that took place over like six years. Uh, and I'm somehow nearly finished it after, you know, a few weeks. We've just been watching like every day. We've been watching probably like a fi five episodes of the Golden Girls. <laughs> Uh, which doesn't leave much time for movies, unfortunately. But I should watch more movies. Like, I enjoy watching movies more than I enjoy watching The Golden Girls. Despite thinking The Golden Girls is pretty okay. Uh, where's the way out? This way? Good. I was expecting more stuff. Um, more loot, honestly, in this in this place. I was expecting more of those, um... There's the Wellkind stones and there's also, like, um... There's like a rare stone that you can find that you have to like do a puzzle for so in some of these places that does something. I think it like, I think it acts as like a, a greater or like a grand level soul gem or something like that. Which reminds me, I should stop back at the, I don't know where I'm going next, but I should absolutely stop by the, um, the Arcane University. Oh, the Priory of the Nine is way out of the way. We'll go to the Fair Guile Inn and uh, and horse down. But uh, I want to go back to the U Arcane University and get charged up and uh, see if I can buy Soul Trap, basically. Like, I want to buy some Soul Trap spells. Uh, even, like, a basic one will be good enough, because I feel like I need it. Or if I could get a weapon that was Soul Trap. I've just realized, by the way, uh, huge oversight. After we did that Oblivion Gate, I never like, checked what the thing was that we got from it, like, what the orb was. I should check that as soon as we get back on shore, next to this crab corpse. I don't know, um, yeah, I'll, I'll write down that poem that, that was mentioned in chat by Valor, um, as my next poem to read. Maybe I'll get really into Shelley. Oh no, my boots are broken! I need to repair those. And I need to go to a smith to repair them. And also, I'm quite poor. Uh, honestly, everything I just said is kind of a disaster for me. <laughs> oh no. Um, not great. Okay, well, I, I wasn't really looking out for mushrooms either in that cave. Right, let's take a look at what this was. Because maybe it'll give me something that I can put in my armor. Fire damage or disintegrate armor or shield 12%. Guess where this is going. Um... Can I put this on my shield? I cannot. Oh well. I'm putting this on my... My... Curus? Curus? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've forgotten again. Um, Curus or gauntlets or something. Oh, my greaves are broken as well. Everything's broken. One second. <laughs> uh, Wheaty is x-raying. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um... What do I have here? Freedom, Fortify Strength, Helm of the Crusader. Oh, Helm of the Crusader. Restoration and personality. And it's more, it's, it's better. Oh, look at that. Serene beauty. He's exploiting in Minecraft to ban him. Well, tell him nicely to stop and that otherwise he will be. But, um, you know, I don't know, basically. Hmm. I think on the on the curious, or should I do it on a weapon? I don't know. Nah, I, I like just straight up damage on a weapon. Where did where did I put it? Where did it go? Uh, there it is. Good. Shield twelve percent. We're gonna put it on this curious. I'm gonna call it uh shieldy. There we go. Shieldy. And create. Uh, did that work? Or did I just take... I, I guess I just felt like being shirtless for a second. Cool. Sir Emil's ring. Nothing really. Uh, okay. We, we did a thing. Now we absolutely need to go like sell some stuff. And just in general maybe level up. Get some more wisdom. Because our, our mana does need to creep up. Definitely. I'm hoping that... Level 11 is not like a hike up in difficulty so that I can actually get my wisdom up. And then... Oh, I thought that was alive for a second. Then we need to sell some stuff and repair some stuff because, honestly, like, not in a, an amazing position here. <laughs> um, I'll actually put this on for a second. I kind of hate, just as an aside, I kind of hate the, um... The 
fact that weapons degrade in this. Like, it's very annoying. Hello. God, I'm so much taller than everybody well here. Met. Well met. Well met. Okay, I need to sell some stuff quick. So, fighting chance, I guess? I also need a smith. So, like, a couple of my things are just shattered on my feet. Can you help me, please? How much to repair all? 265? That's actually nothing. Did you... Are you sure you repaired everything? Please. Like, are all of my things repaired now? They are. That's unbelievably good. Uh, my greaves, my boots. Okay, that's amazing. Um, I think it might be because of this helmet. Like, it makes sense, I will say. Uh, and for a Crusader helmet, this is actually kind of nice. I will say, it makes sense that the thing that fortifies personality so much on Gromble is the thing that hides his face. That That's quite thematically appropriate, I think. Like, that's a disaster. <laughs> it makes sense that what can I do that you? makes people like me more. Look, she's actually smiling. She always scowled at me. It's like, oh, you've, Let's you've hidden business. that from me, so I like you now. Okay, sell all this stuff. We, we won't be long here. We'll just uh, sell all this stuff that we can. I probably should keep the, the night shield, right? Just for now. Hmm. Am I haggling with you? You know what? Let's haggle. Let's do this, because my personality is up more. Ooh, a whole, like, three or four more percent. Awesome. Um, anything else I can sell to you? Not really. Well, a pewter bowl and some gems, but not that much. That's a f that's enough, though. That's I guess. That's a fair deal. I don't mind uh, carrying around some extra stuff for a while. Okay, uh, good. I will go charge up my okay. item. Oh, and I will stop by the the ma There's a magic shop right here. I don't really need to go back, do I? Like, there's a staff thing right here and a uh, a discount spells. I'll see if this guy has soul trap. You know, I might need to go back to the to the university. What do you? Oh want? my God, he! I don't know if it was just me or if it was he been blinking or something, but he had pure white eyes for a second. He looked like he looked weird. I didn't like it. He looked a bit like a monster from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit. Right, bound dagger, not not necessary. Do you have? No, you do not. Mm, that's annoying. Do you, what can you have I like a book you on it, maybe? No. Fundamentals of alchemy? Mm, that might be useful. Okay, you don't have that much, to be honest. That's quite good. Hmm. Right. We'll see. Oh, uh, staffs. Do you charge up? Or do you have any, like, slightly more... Like, slightly more upscale... Oh, you're so much smaller than I expected. You're in Rindir's staffs. And I'm Rindy. I don't know why I they made the stars. wood elves so Imagine unbelievably that. tiny in this. Because in Morrowind, they weren't that small. Words. Like, they were, sure they, were, they were just normal you. sized. Like, the high elves were taller, but they made the wood elves, like, three foot high in this one. Like, they're almost like, you know, the, like, Christmas elves. It's very strange. That's something in, um, in, in Golden Girls, actually. Speaking of Golden Girls... They're weirdly prejudiced against little people. I don't know why. Like, uh, you know, I mean, you know, people with dwarfism. They're they're extremely weird about it. Like, there's there's three or four separate episodes where the subject of the episode is that there's like a a a, li a little person is in town and they're all really really uncomfortable about it. I didn't quite realize that was a thing. To be honest, it's very strange. Uh, in a show that's, you know, supposedly quite progressive, it was just a weird Don't little quirk. Cicero? Sorry? Only... Is Cicero like a common, you know, Latin name? Or is it... Because Cicero I associate with like... I think there's like a, a, an historical figure called Cicero, and then there's Cicero in Skyrim. I assume it's like a Roman name. Hail. Oh, there's a... I didn't even know the shop was here. I don't think I've ever stepped foot in this shop. There, there's actually an alchemy shop Any here. Any friend of? Have a look around. You won't uh, find better prices at all. I don't really sell anything I don't have, but like, you'll probably buy all of my trash, which is nice. Yeah, sell, buy this, buy these, because these are kind of bad. You drive a hard bargain. Um, 
by this. By this. You've made a good I'm carrying a lot of... The potions are deceptively heavy. Like, they, they can do some bad stuff to your inventory. I don't need Night That's Eye. I don't need Sea Stride, really. I'll, I'll keep one, just in case. A fine transaction. Sorcery I'll keep, because why not? Potion of the Sea I don't need at all, because I can actually cast that now. And forgot about it. Uh, luck I don't need either. Alacrity. You drive what a strange thing to that name that potion. Like that, that seems like You've a pretentious a alchemist there. right there. Water walking I already have up there. Respite. Never run out of, mat of uh, fatigue once. Water breathing. Don't need it. Okay. That freed up like a decent amount I think. Alkanet I don't need. Again, it's poisonous to guinea pigs. It offends me to my core. Um, Paralyze I'll keep. Again, like, Paralyze is one of the more powerful things in the game. So if I can find something else with Paralyze on it, then that's going to be pretty huge. Uh, that's more than fire Salts are pretty pointless. Frost Salts are also pointless. Glow Dust is also pointless. <laughs> I know, you know, going through the shops is not particularly interesting, which is why I try and speed it up by just kind of skimming through everything. That's a good There we go. Thing. I think that's that's everything we need. I... Okay, I now I just need to charge up my weapon somewhere. Although maybe I don't. Like, I have this, and I have my spells. I think we're actually fine. Like, um... What, well, you know what? I, I do need to go and buy Soul Trap, basically, is the thing. Like, I need to go buy Soul Trap, and then I can, I can be fine. Honestly, do I already have Soul Trap? I don't think I do. Like, you know, go to all spells. I don't think I have any Soul Trap. Serene Beauty is calm. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, but no, I do not. Huh. I have Pilgrim's Grace? Oh, that's actually extremely good. I'll, I'll put this on seven? Yeah, seven. Sure. That's pretty good. Okay, can you sell me anything? Uh, whoever you are. I need to find somebody to sell me things. Mm -hmm. uh, Maid Hello, Scholar Raminus. We come to the... You have, oh, no what? doubt, seen some of the worst the guild has to offer. Oh, a, a quest. As much as we try to hold mages to a I higher I guess I've, standard, I've done enough in the mages guild for they now. They are only human. What I hope you will now see I'm is that while the guild human, can be disjointed and misused, flesh and it can also achieve some made. wonderful things. Does now anybody? How, I don't know how old my audience is. Does anybody know that song? <laughs> and continue with your advancement through the guild. That is not the popular song with human in the name. Okay, what I do offer you sell? Can you sell me and lowest prices Soltra? in all Cyrodiil. No, you cannot. I do like the little symbols. I will say that. Okay, you can't really sell me much, because uh, I'm not very high level. It's it's nice to see you. Yes, but please shut up. Goodbye. I'll get on it at some point. Mm, can't get in there. All right, who among you can sell me a thing? Oh, fellow apprentices. Well met, Do, Am I supposed to go to class ah, at any point? Like, I haven't been. University's newest edition. Thank you. Like, well you know, met, are there actual, like, college classes in this? Like, that's something... Uh, <laughs> can you sell Parisian. me anything? Have a look around. Master you Spellmaker, do you have any... In all Summon a Gloom Wraith. Oh my god. Okay, Jesus. You do not have enough. Fair enough. Legendary Soul Trap. You seem a bit too advanced for me. I'll I'll be honest. Uh, what about you, Mr. Invisible? Master Spellman. Uh, nope. Take care. And what about you, uh, Greetings, apprentice. Random Apprentice? Nope, never mind. Oh, you've restocked, I see. I think I, I emptied you out a little bit last time I was here. Hello, Guildman. Greetings, Apprentice. Okay, what about you, Mystic Archives? Can someone sell me a spell, is what I'm asking. A pleasure. Termina, can you sell me anything? No. Oh. Right, I will check here and then, I don't know, we'll go to another town maybe along ah. the way. I don't need Soul Trap right now, it would just be nice. Anyone asleep that I can bother? I'll take some Nern Root. <laughs> Why not? Does Nern Root actually do ah. anything useful alchemically? I don't know. And I don't know how long it takes to grow anything in this either. Like, I don't know how long it will be before these have regrown. 
The Chironasium? I'm assuming these mean Welcome something to, to someone. Can you sell me anything? You cannot. Good day. Can you sell me anything? Good day. Uh, you can Always charge. Your... You know what? That's good enough. Uh, I'll, I'm fully charged. We'll just go. Take as soon as I find somebody who can sell me Soul Trap, though, we will buy Soul Trap. I feel like one of the... One of these, um... Mages well, guilds then. that I went through previously what had Soul Trap. Have a look around. You oh, won't you can, find better prices in all Tamriel. It hasn't been very long, actually, has it? So no. Okay, fair enough. We'll go. Safe yeah, I feel like some one of those backwater mages guilds I was wandering around in had soul trap, and I just didn't pick it up. Annoyingly. All right, whatever. We will go to. Oh God, where are we going? The Priory of the Nine, which is this way. And we actually did an Oblivion Gate in this session, which is unusual for me. There's probably more around here. That was weird. I thought I... I thought I saw, like, a Mythic Dawn agent or something around here somewhere. Hmm. That, that freaked me out slightly. 